Lesson 11.4, Three-Dimensional Figures. A solid figure has three dimensions, length, width, and height. These dimensions are used to find the figure's volume, which is the space a solid figure occupies. So this cube has length, width, and height. A two-dimensional figure has length and width, which are used to find the figure's area. So we've learned this. If the length is 2 inches and the width is 4 inches, it's 8 square inches. Polyhedrons, such as prisms and pyramids, are three-dimensional figures with faces that are polygons. So the sides are the lateral faces. So here we have some prisms and here we have some pyramids. And remember, a polygon is a closed plane shape formed by three or more line segments. We learned about that in video 11.1, .1, and that's linked in the description. A prism is a polyhedron that has two congruent polygons as bases. So this triangular prism has a, triang a triangle on the top and a triangle on the bottom as its bases, and the triangles, both triangles, are congruent to each other. Here we have a rectangular prism, and it's got a rectangle on the top and a rectangle on the bottom as its bases, and those rectangles are congruent to each other. A polyhedron's lateral faces are polygons that connect with the bases. The lateral faces of a prism are rectangles. So here we have a triangular prism, and it's got three rectangular lateral faces, and it's got two triangular bases. Here's a pentagonal prism, and it's got five rectangular lateral faces and two pentagonal bases. It's got a pentagon up here and a pentagon down there. And all of the lateral faces are congruent when the bases are regular polygons. We learned about regular polygons in video 11.1. .1. A prism's base shape is used to name the solid figure. We have triangle bases, it's a triangular prism. Here we have rectangle bases, it's a rectangular prism. Here we have pentagon bases, it's a pentagonal prism. Hexagon bases, hexagonal prism. Heptagon bases, that's seven sides, that's a heptagonal prism. Octagon bases, octagonal prism. Nonagon bases, nonagonal prism, and decagon bases, decagonal prism. A cube is a special prism that has six congruent square faces. If we unfolded a cube, we would see the six squares. And since a square is a rectangle, a cube is also a rectangular prism. When we unfold a 3D shape, it's called a net. We can do it for prisms and pyramids. We can do it for any 3D shape. A pyramid is a polyhedron with only one base. And the lateral faces of a pyramid are triangles. And the pyramid's base shape is used to name the figure. And pyramids also have a pointed top called a vertex or an apex. In geometry, you'll hear it called a vertex many times. So here it has one base it's got a triangle for a base, it's a triangular pyramid. This one has a square for a base, so it's a square pyramid. This one has a rectangle for a base, so it's a rectangular pyramid. This one has a pentagon for a base, so it's a pentagonal pyramid. This one has a hexagon for a base, so it's a hexagonal pyramid. They all have triangles for lateral faces. Non-polyhedrons there's some three-dimensional figures that have curved surfaces. These are non-polyhedrons. These solid figures are not polyhedrons. We have a cone. It's got a circular base, a circle for a base, and one curved surface going around. A cylinder has two congruent circular bases and one curved surface going around. And a sphere has no bases. It's just one curved surface. These are not polyhedrons, but they are three-dimensional figures. They just have curved surfaces. 
So polyhedrons are three-dimensional figures with lateral faces that are polygons. And non-polyhedrons have curved surfaces. We can identify prisms and pyramids by their base shape. The base shape is used to name the solid figure. We can tell the difference between prisms and pyramids because prisms have two bases and pyramids have only one base. And because pyramids have a pointed top called a vertex, or sometimes it's called an apex, and prisms have rectangular lateral faces. And pyramids have triangular lateral faces. So remember, polyhedrons are named after their bases, whatever the 2D shape of their base is. And polyhedrons either have a rectangular lateral face or a triangular lateral face if it's a pyramid. Our next lesson, 11.5, we're going to talk about unit cubes and solid figures. Stay safe, stay well, and I hope I see you next time. Bye.